cold or the flu, we may have a natural remedy for you. So green tea could be the answer. Welcome tea sommelier Sheena Brady. Hi. Today. I'm really excited to be here. We're excited to have you here, and I just found out that you have a one-year-old daughter at yes, home. Yes, You look very fresh, so oh. if we can attribute that to the tea, we're all yes. sold. And your makeup artist. Yes, tea and makeup. Exactly. It's a good combination. It, helps. it definitely helps. So when you are suffering from cold and flu, and this is actually the time of year when mm. a lot of people are going through it, um, one natural thing that you might want to try is tea, and particularly green tea because Absolutely. of those antioxidants, right? Exactly. And like you just said, this is such a challenging time of year because we're going through these extreme shift in temperatures, right? One minute it's, you know, semi nice out, the next minute it's freezing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, everyone's just getting sick this time of year. It's so tough. And so green tea is really just one excellent tool you can put in your, your health and wellness kit to mm -hmm. help not only prevent a cold in the first place, but shake off a cold so that, you know, you're only uh, maybe having the sniffles instead of, you know, out of commission for a few days. So. Absolutely. You don't want it to get to the point where it's full blown and then you just can't function. Exactly. And then you're getting everybody else sick and yes. yeah. It just never ends. So I thought we'd start off with loose leaf green tea. Okay. Yeah. So this is a blend that we call uh, Shake It Off. And so it's a high quality Japanese green tea. Uh, there's actually some blended ginger in there as well, which acts as a really nice decongestant. Nice. And it's made with a high quality Japanese green tea that's loaded with antioxidants uh, and a lot of polyphenols. And there was actually some Canadian research done in 2003 uh, from Sherbrooke University in Quebec that they added, they injected the green tea into the cold and flu virus and mm -hmm. what they found is that it stopped the virus from replicating. Oh. Yeah, and so okay. what's fascinating about that, obviously there's no cure to the common cold, but like I mentioned earlier, it's the difference between, you know, just having the sniffles yes. or actually being out of commission, right? So the second that you think that you might have a cold coming in, consuming green tea will help battle it much more quickly and efficiently. Mm. And uh, even just drinking green tea in the first place regularly will boost your immune system to help you prevent a cold in the first place as okay. well. It's Did you want to try a sip? Yeah, do you want to Tell us a little yes. bit about steeping this yes. properly. Like, Great is question. there, is there, how long are, are you steeping this for? So, a lot of people think that, you know, just boil your tea water and good to go. And, you know, yep. I'm the last person to complicate how to make a cup of tea. I'm not a, I might be a tea sommelier, but I'm not a tea snob, I like to say. Okay. Uh, and so, I, you know, it's really important to not use boiling water with green tea. If there's any big takeaway here, never use boiling water. And the reason why, Tracy, yeah. is because if you boil the water for your green tea, you're actually going to, first of all, burn the tea leaves mm -hmm. and it's going to create a bitter taste so it's not going to taste good but you're burning a lot of the benefits as well in the process so okay. go ahead and boil your water unplug the kettle and then let it sit about a minute to cool and then you should have the perfect temperature for that oh nice yeah and you can also add honey to your green tea to help yes. soothe the sore throat lemon to up the benefits so so much great things that you can do with loose leaf tea lovely okay good to know that it's doing all of that important work because yes. a lot of people just rely on it for their metabolism right, right. we know that it's really good for the metabolism but but if it can be preventative for cold and flu, amazing. Yes. Matcha green tea. Okay, what is the difference between matcha and regular? So we're taking that loose leaf green tea, but you're removing the stems and you're pulverizing it to this beautiful concentrated powder, okay? Mm -hmm. And so with this, traditionally, you're uh, dissolving it in warm water. You might whisk it um, or you might just kind of shake it and if you have like a really strong thermos. And that's a great way to consume it. You can make a matcha latte. But mm -hmm. because you're consuming it whole, Tracy, instead of steeping, yep. you're getting 10 times the amount of benefits than regular green tea. Wow. And that's why it's so powerful. And it's that concentrated EGCG specifically, the catechins in that green tea that's really going to help boost your immune system. So with matcha compared to loose leaf green tea, you're going to get 137 times the amount of that EGCG. So it's super potent. Yes. Um, but if you're in a bit of a hurry and you don't have time to steep your tea like we talked about, you don't have time to whisk your matcha, yeah. we can do matcha shots. Ooh, yeah. okay. How do you do a matcha shot? So what's great about a matcha shot is it's never too early to have a matcha shot. Okay. And so you're going <laughs> to use your milk of choice. So yes. in this case, I've just used regular 2% milk, but you can use almond milk, whatever you'd like. Okay. I've already put the milk in here. And you're going to put in um, one half a teaspoon of matcha. It's already in here. A little bit goes a long way. This is why I did it ahead of time because it can get a little bit messy. Okay. So half a teaspoon, people often use too much matcha. You don't need to do that. Mm. So half a teaspoon of matcha, your ice, and your milk of choice, and you're good to go. Yeah. And how are your bartending skills? I could do a little shake and shake. All right. Yeah. So give it a really nice good shake. It's everything we need in here. Everything. Huh? So like I said, three ingredients, ice, matcha, 
And then your milk of choice. Yep. <laughs> Shaking it up. You're pretty good. So All you right. so you have this you have this cold, obviously, right? Yes. And, and so, is there a special way to pour it? No, you're doing a great <laughs> job. It's so simple. And again, like this is how to get those matcha benefits on the go. Now, disclaimer, I don't know if you've ever had matcha. It is going to be grassy. It but is. this is a very high quality Japanese green tea that we've sourced from uh, Uji Japan. So it'll be Cheers. smooth. Cheers. Mm. What do you think? Not it's, bad, gra right? it's grassy. It is grassy. <laughs> I it is. That it's You're right. Be grassy. Listen, I've had matcha before, and, and and I can't say I love the flavor, but I like it better when it's in something like a latte. Yes. Or when you mix dairy with it, and I think it's also an acquired taste. Oh, it, it and I can think be. it's worth it. I think it's worth getting into totally it for what it. it can do, especially with the health benefits. Absolutely. And then the last thing I want to talk about really quick is uh, ceremonial grade matcha is is what we have here, hence a very bright green color, and that's a result of the quality and how it's shade grown versus culinary grade matcha. Okay. I don't have culinary grade matcha here with me today, but basically the difference is essentially the price. So you're mm. not going to use a very high quality matcha like this and then dilute it in your cooking. Find culinary grade matcha, you'll get it for the fat fraction of the price while mm. still enjoying some of those benefits. And all you have to do is, again, if you don't want to drink your green tea, you know, steep it, or if you don't do matcha shots or matcha lattes, you can sprinkle your matcha on granola and smoothies, so cool. even in your ice cream. I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose of the benefits obviously <laughs> uh, but you can basically just sprinkle your matcha anywhere yeah. and, and have your benefits that way as well what an amazing lesson good for you Sheena thank, thank you, you so, so much, much.